Hello Pisces, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. Welcome to my channel, welcome to your energy reading. I'm gonna be taking a look at your past, your present, and your future in reference to a love connection that continues to have you conflicted. If your love life is going great, this reading is not for you, okay? You can purchase your private reading with me in the description box below. If you want to join to become a member, that link is also in the description box. Not every Pisces watching it will identify with this message. Please don't leave me any negative comments. Any negative comments will be deleted and you will get blocked. Okay, so um, let's get right into what you are feeling. Please speak to me in reference to Pisces. That wanted to come out. Okay, so Pisces, there's a lot of conflict here, okay? So there's arguing going on. There's definitely a disagreement in the past position here. Somebody was hiding something from you or you were tired of them not giving you enough is the energy that I get here. There's an energy of some sort of tower moment that took place. So there might have been some sort of confrontation. Some secrets might have came out. You might have learned something about your person that disappointed you. It's really heavy for you at the present time. It's almost like an uphill battle. You're trying to do the right thing and you feel as though every time you try to do the right thing, it's almost as if you're not making the right choice. There was deception here. Definitely somebody has been lying, and I think that you are aware of that, and it's now coming to your full attention. And I feel that in the past position here, you are trying to get more information about why this person's behavior has changed, and you want to get to the bottom of what they're keeping from you is the energy that I get all right, you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. And I also see earth energy here towards Virgo and Capricorn. But we'll be clarifying in a little bit, okay? Let's talk about the present moment. That was the past and why Pisces is here. But let's talk about the present moment. So again... You know that something's up here, and you've been knowing that for a while, all right? This is your energy coming out. The secrets are being revealed, and this person can't fool you any longer, okay? I think that for most of you, you found out that there's another energy around, or you're sure that there is, because this person is not being who you met. So you know that something is up. And you're trying to get to the bottom of it. Now, I feel that if you brought this to your person's attention, they're going to try to lie and they're not going to want to tell you the truth. They don't want to lose you. Okay. And I feel that, again, they're into the material. I feel like you're dealing with a materialistic energy. I feel like your person is very into superficial things. Okay, and so sometimes I feel like you question, are you really into me because you're into me or are you into me because of what I have, right? Because Pisces, let's be honest, you're a stable individual. You have your own things. You've always had your own things. You know, when people need assistance, they come to you because you're good with your money. You're good with your finances. You know how to get shit done. And you live comfortable. And sometimes I feel like you question, is this person with me because he's comfortable or she's comfortable? Or are they really with me because they want to be? Okay. The present moment, I feel like either you or your person just wants to put a pause to this, a stop to this. It may not be permanent, but somebody feels like something needs to stop right now okay i feel like again there's communication that 
it's just not getting to where you want it to get to with this person. It's like every time you try to express yourself, you feel like you're hitting a brick wall and your person always wants to be in control. You know, it's almost as if you have to bow down to them. It's, they want to say like three words to you and they want you to be quiet and they want you to just walk away after they finish saying what they said. And absolutely not. You're going to stand up to this person like I know that you will and you'll get your clarity. Okay, you're a strong person, whether male or female, you're a strong character. And perhaps your person is used to being surrounded by weak minded individuals. And so this is your time to show them who you really are, because things aren't the way that they need to be like at home. They're not. Whether you're single or with this person, living with this person, not living with this person at home, you're not happy. And when it starts to interfere with the place that you actually come home to from work, the place where you're supposed to relax at and decompress. If you can't decompress in your own home, then you have to do something about it. And I feel like that's your energy. You want to do something about this connection and this person. Okay. Now let's clarify the future. What's going on for Pisces and their person in the future, please? Please speak to me in reference to Pisces and their person for the future. Talk to me in reference to Pisces and their person for the future in this connection. Talk to me about Pisces. Okay. So I definitely feel an energy of somebody who wants to move on and then the other person is wanting to stay. So if you watched the Sagittarius video yesterday, that was the energy that I was getting, okay? Some of you are dealing with a fire sign that wants to leave and you want to make this work still, okay? Um, they want to leave, but they still want to be comfortable is the energy that I get. You know, they want to be single, but they still want to have you and you're not having that. You know, either they get with the program or you're going to leave them behind here. I see the Knight of Cups, right? And I see this new beginning, right? So, you know, this person still wants to be in a connection with you, but here they are wanting to go in another direction and they want to move in another direction. So it's almost as if, where are you going and where have you been? But Pisces, I feel like you already know where your person has been going and where they have been. And you don't believe these lies anymore. I feel like you're dealing with a liar, a compulsive liar, somebody who is manipulative, a narcissist, somebody who just likes to make up stories at their own convenience. And you're picking up on it. All right. I feel like your person has some sort of mental health problem and they don't want to admit to it. You could be dealing with someone who's bipolar. Okay. Now, Let's clarify for the past position here. Please speak to me in reference to this conflict. There's drama here. There's arguing in the past position here. The Eight of Cups, see? And somebody's definitely walking away because of the argument, the disagreement, the back and forth. There's a lot of people involved in this conflict. I feel like people are sticking up for you. They have people sticking up for them. You know, it's, it's a back and forth. Your friends, his friends your parents, his parents, or their parents, you know, whether male or female. I know you hear me seeing, saying um, his, but, you know, of course, there's no gender in tarot. So I feel like definitely conflict. And I feel like it was serious conflict. And I feel that it was a big disagreement because you're not having it. You're not having it anymore. Okay, so I feel like now you're in this energy of, okay, I love this person. We've been through a lot. I don't want just a petty argument to ruin what we have going. All right, is the energy that I get in that past position. It's like after whatever it was came out or after the disagreement, you still don't want to give up on it and you want to work on it still because... You don't give up on anything in your life. You're a fighter. You're a go-getter. Okay? And, and I completely understand that and respect that about you, Pisces. All right? But we can't continue to have energies around you that aren't 
trustworthy. I feel like, you know, you can't trust this person. I feel like this person does things behind your back. I feel like you need to start looking at their social media. I feel like you need to pay attention to the people that they follow and what they're up to. All right. I feel like they have manipulated you to the point where they, they have you where you, where they want you. They say things to you so that they can keep you in a certain box. You know, it's time to break out of that box. This person is not going to manipulate you anymore. They're not going to control you anymore. You're going to stand up to them. I know that you will. I know. This person is getting anxious because they're getting to the point of realizing that they can't control you like they had you controlled. See, the person that you're dealing with, they're very good with their words. So, um... You know, they'll, they'll get soft with you and romantic with you when it benefits them, okay? Just, I want you to sit back and look at the whole situation and how you guys met and how you met this person and how long you've come. And I want you to determine if your person is materialistic or not, if they are superficial or not, okay? I feel like this person that you're dealing with always looks at, What's in it for me? What's in it for me? You know, what's the benefit of me being in this relationship? You know, what's in it for me? It's always this materialistic quality. And that's, and that's sad. That person will continue to be unhappy if they continue to get into relationships for the wrong reason. You're supposed to get into relationships because you actually have feelings for someone and you love them enough to want to be in a contract, which is a commitment. And I feel that you feel your person is being very fake right now. Okay? Let's clarify the present moment. Please speak to me in reference to the present moment when it comes to the person that Pisces is dealing with. Your person ain't going to like me, but let me tell you something. I'm an energy reader, and I could care less who likes me and who doesn't like me. If people don't like me and don't want to watch me, then don't click into my channel. And I don't respond to any negativity, okay? When people click into my channel and they give me a view, that's paying me. That's giving me money. So I don't care what anybody has to say. You know, I have to give the honest truth, and this is what I feel, you know, so we have the Ten of Wands in the present moment, the Seven of Cups. It's very conflicted for you. It's very challenging. I get it. It's a lot of pressure. You're wondering, where did we go wrong? Or why is this happening? But it's all happening so that you can gain the recognition. Um, so basically, that's, that's yeah, recognizing is, is what I mean to say. You are recognizing that... Something's off here and you want to make it work. But honey, I need you to look deeper into your person. I need you to take another look. I feel like someone is disingenuine. Ask them, why are we together? Why are you with me? What made you want to be with me? Ask those questions because they still want to be in your energy. They do. I feel like they're just getting caught out there. They're getting caught out there so they don't know what to do. But I feel like they still want to be in your energy. So ask them. You deserve your answers. They don't like to be asked any questions. They don't like for you to question them. But challenge them. Be that powerful woman that I know that you are. Question them. Debate with them. Talk them down in an argument. You know what I'm saying? I know you have that in you. They want that old thing back. Look at them. Six of Cups. Yeah, they're going to want to come right back. They're sorry. They didn't mean it. But why do you... So then if you're, if you're sorry and you didn't mean it, tell me how you really feel and tell me why you feel it's okay to go and do that. Tell me. And why when I bring certain things up, you don't want to hear it or you want me to just stay shut? And you feel like you have to use your words to convince me. You know, that's how I feel you're talking to your person. Okay, I'm all up in your energy today, huh? That's crazy. That's how energy is. Um, 
in the future, Knight of Wands wants to go off and do whatever he wants to do while you want to have this new beginning with them. You want to have a new beginning and they want to do whatever they want to do and come whenever they feel like it. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Please speak to me in reference to the future when it comes to Pisces. Temperance came out. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. Somebody's going to get left out here. I feel like your person is going to get kicked to the curb. You want to sit there and, you know, um, be unloyal to someone who's been loyal to you, to someone who gave you everything, to someone who helped you. You know? But go ahead. If you feel like you need to kick somebody out, Pisces, kick somebody out. If you feel like you need to do that, you know what? That's how they're going to learn. Only way they're going to learn. All right. And you can be single for as long as you want to be single. They're always going to want to come back. All right. So you can go ahead and be single. And this person is going to be all trying to be all up in your energy again. This person doesn't want your family to think bad about them either. They're so concerned about that. Oh, what is his family going to think about me? What is her family going to say if they find out the truth about me? Right? So if you're so concerned about the way that my family's going to feel, then why don't you do me right? Right? I feel like your person is so uh, concerned. They don't want your, your mom to be upset with them, your sister, your, because they're not being themselves. They're not being themselves. And I feel like now they're going to be exposed. But you know what? Maybe it was time for them to be exposed. I think it was time. And you are going to start to boss up and you are going to face this like you never did before. And you are going to show them who you really are. You don't play with a Pisces. Okay, you don't play with a Pisces. You don't play with a Taurus. The Pisces is the high priestess. The Taurus is a priest as well. You don't do that. Okay, and if you can understand if you can understand that, then you'll never, ever, ever try to play with a water sign or an earth sign ever in your life, ever. So that's what I have, a very powerful reading for Pisces. You are all in your power. Don't even worry about this person. They don't have nothing up on you. They can't one-up you. There's no way. You're the one who brought them up. Let's put it that way, okay? If you're interested in a private reading with me, all of that info is in the description box below. I want to thank you so much for watching and take care.